Good morning and welcome to Miss Rody. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to use Google Analytics in your Zazzle store. Okay, so in order to use that Google Analytics in your Zazzle store, you need a Google Analytics account. And this is what Google Analytics does. See, um, this is a new Google Analytics um, section that I just created for one of my stores, Weddings by Rody, and I literally created it one minute ago. So you can see that it's showing that I have one person viewing my store page at the moment. And as it, you know, continues to track information, it'll show me my active users and when my users visit and where they're from in my top devices and the pages that they visit. And I'll show you, I'll give you an example of all of that later on. But right now we have to actually create the property because it's called a property that you have to create in order to link your Zazzle store to Google Analytics. So the first thing we want to do is click on admin. And once we click on admin, we're going to, we see that we're at a store. I mean, not a store, but a page, an admin page that shows, you know, create account, create property, create view. So what we want to do is create property. So create property. That's what we click on. And we're going to give our property a name. So my property name is going to be my store name, Alma Africa. Reporting time zone, I'm on New York time. My currency is U.S. dollars. Show advanced options. This is what you want to click to create your property. So I want to make sure this is clicked on because that's the type of property that Zazzle recognizes. At the moment, to create a universal analytics property. So, in order to do that, we have to go to my Zazzle website to grab the link. So, this is, I clicked on my Zazzle because I have it in the window, my Alma Africa stores. So, I'm going to copy this part because you know the HTTPS is already listed there in the analytics, you see. So I just copy and paste. And I have checked off, create both a Google Analytics 4 and a Universal Analytics property. Because I did that because Google Analytics 4, that's the most, you know, that's the updated one. So just in case Zazzle updates theirs, I want to make sure everything is already in place. So now I'm going to click Next. As you see right here, you can create a lot of properties, you know, a hundred basically. So I've already used, you know, 10 because I have seven stores. So I, I create, you know, two properties for each store. So make sure you click next, scroll up, and you're going to set up your property and tell them about your business. So the industry category is shopping. This is my business size, size, you know, small. And it says, how do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business? So I'm going to check everything that applies. And create. Okay, so it's created. So what you want to do, okay, so it's automatically going to have this pop-up that shows uh, web stream details. So I guess it's showing the details of, you know, the website that you just created. So I'm just going to put X. I'm going to X that out. And I'm going to go here to Alma Africa. 
And what I'm going to do is click on UA because that's, you know, like I said earlier, that's what Zazzle recognized. So I'm going to click on Alma Africa UA. So as you see, I'm, I'm on this version, Alma Africa UA. And I'm going to click on tracking information, info, tracking info, and tracking code. And it's right here. So what I'm going to do is copy this. Copy. And I'm going to go to my Alma Africa store. Go to settings. Advanced settings. And what you want to do is click enable Google Analytics. And paste that number. That code. And I don't click on enable cross domain tracking because um, it has something to do with if you have a, I guess, a separate website that links to your Zazzle store, but I don't have that. So I just don't click that and submit. So. You know, I'm back at, so basically that's what I did. So everything is in place. So what you will see is, okay, I'm just going to click on home. It will show you what you just created. So I'm going Africa, since it's new, there's no active users, you know, using it right now because I just created it. But just to show you, the things that it does, you know, what it does look like when you're creating something. When you already have a um, Google Analytics working, I can go to admin. Just so you can, you know, see an example. And I'll use my first store, the Miss Roadies. So you can just see what it shows you. And why it's so important. Okay, so Miss Rodis, it shows that. So it shows your users, the session. So it has a um, so as you see, there's somebody is an active user right now. And you know, they're and it says top active pages. So it shows you like what product is your top active. So this is for the last seven days. So for the last seven days, I've had 794 users. And it shows you every day how many people used it and if it went up or down. So that's it's good to know because it shows you, you know, what you need to work on. And it shows you how do you acquire users. So this is direct paid social organic other so most of mine come from direct searches as you can see but it's also a good amount that comes from paid search and i guess it's the zazzle um advertisements that they pay for and promote so that's very good and six came from my own social media and then you know it's organic search and other so it shows you active users user retention because i started this on november the 8th so it you know it gives you you know week by week you know that those statistics it even shows you, I like that, it shows you, you know, what time of day people visit your site. You would have this for, you know, each Zazzle store, if you have more than one Zazzle store. Your top countries, it will show you your top countries. And let me click on location overview. Yeah. 
Right, so in this, let's see, it shows 10. So I just said 100. So wow, so it shows, I guess you can um, show however many countries you want. So let's see, 250. So I guess I haven't um, reached 250 countries, but I have 40. So it shows you, you know, your top countries where your users are coming from. So mine is United States. That's where I base. But the second one is United Kingdom. So that's interesting, followed by Finland and Canada. Wow, so Finland is, I receive more from Finland than Canada, even though Canada is, you know, right above me. Okay, so I'm gonna um, go back. But I just go back to the home page. That's easier. Just to show you the things that is the statistics that it you know uses. And, it's, and I like, what are your top devices? So most of my um, customers are mobile. And I, I love this because it shows what pages do your users visit. So the top page is one of my shirts. But, you know, you can see, let me click page report. It shows you, you know, the page views and, you know, all of this and the top pages. So my second top page is actually my store page. So that lets me know that I need to, my store home page. So that lets me know that I really need to make sure that's in top condition since that's the second most viewed page is the actual storefront page. Because I don't want, you know, people to see it and it's not attractive looking and they just click off of it. And it shows how long people use it, you know. So, um, and the rest are actual, you know, the actual pages. So let me um, click on one. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to right click, but it, it'll just take you to the actual page because I don't want to accidentally, you know, click off of this and have trouble getting back to it. So it shows, you know, what people are viewing. And right now they're viewing my top most popular shirt, all about this is, I can just tell this is. Wrapping paper, bath towel set, leggings. So it, it shows you, let's see, 500. I'll just let it show. Okay. I'm just speaking how many I want it to show. So it, it basically, you know, tell you what your most, you know, popular products are. And even, you know, the average time they spend on the page. So that's very good. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.